coming up. What are the five things I wish I'd known before I bought a boat? I leave called pilot. I have some thoughts on arming reverie. And take what I hope is my final trip into Nantwich. It was a beautiful evening cruising back from Overwater Marina after filling with water. The following evening was beautiful as well. So, as it was my last night at Cool Pilot, a barbecue was in order. We lit a fire, watched the sunset, and watched the crescent moon rise. Well, I am finally leaving Cool Pilot. I've been here seven and a half weeks now, um, and to be honest, there's never been a dull moment. I've really enjoyed my time here. Um, usually I get itchy tiller after a couple of days, but um, you know, I have thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed my time here. And to be honest, I'm leaving here with something I didn't arrive with. And just going past some of my neighbours, I'm just going to say goodbye to Sean and Karen. We'll see you around. Cheers. For the moment, I'm only going back to Hack Green, which is about three quarters of a mile up the uh, canal from where I was at Cool Pilot. Um, very soon I'm hoping that I'm going to be going up the Llangotlan Canal uh, and entering Wales, but Wales is still currently in lockdown, so I must admit I'm not entirely sure as to whether I'll be allowed into Wales on the canal or not, but I'll, I'm just going to take a very slow cruise up towards Chirk, which is kind of where the border is, um, and hopefully by that time everything will be open. It is a beautiful day for cruising. It's a pity it's going to be such a short one, really. But never mind. So what are the five things I wish I'd known before I bought a boat? Number five. Now I must admit, I hadn't realised just how long it takes to get things done on a boat, especially as a continuous cruiser. If you run out of something, it's not like you can just nip to the shop usually. So, you know, you may have to get public transport. You may have to order it online. Um, you may have to take your boat a day or two's trip to get the item you need, especially doing DIY stuff. You know, if you run out of wood, if you run out of paint, if you haven't got the right tool, stuff like that, it takes forever, honestly. A buzzard hunting in the nearby field. Its mate was circling high above on the thermals. I've seen countless sunsets during the last two months, more than I've seen in the last 30 years probably. In Northumberland, late afternoon cloud builds in the west over the Cumbrian mountains and tends to obliterate the sunset. Coming in at number four is, frankly, I really wasn't aware 
just how mad the world has really become. Yes, and that's one of the reasons why I chose this lifestyle. But it's only when you actually slow it down a bit, you realise just how frantic everything is out there and how frustrating life can be. And the other point I wanted to make here was, you know, just how noisy life is these days. And, and you know, that just builds up stress and stress and stress and it's the pace and the speed and the noise of everything. God, you know, over the canals. And you can probably hear somewhere in the background that banging noise. That is a clay pigeon shoot going on. So, um, yeah, even on the canals, there isn't always peace and quiet anymore. But I have to say, it's a hell of a lot more peaceful and quiet than living in a city. So I'm glad I'm here. The yellow iris and the common blue damselfly mating nearby. OK, so I'm off to Nantwich, yet again, for the weekly shopping trip. It's a bit of a scorcher, so the cows are just cooling off in the canal. And boats are beginning to move again. Yes, the British are so good at queuing, even the cows do it. Oi! Queue jumper! Osier willow. This is the best willow you can get for basket making and weaving. Number three. Wow, I honestly had no idea how beautiful our canal system was. No idea whatsoever. It's been a constant source of wonder to me. Um, I've been amazed at the tranquility of these water highways and the slow pace of life just really allows you to appreciate um, the beauty that's around us. Um, it's just been absolutely fabulous. Antwich has one of the highest concentrations of listed Tudor and Georgian buildings in England. During the Civil War, it was besieged by Royalist forces and was freed in the Battle of Nantwich in January 1644. Now, with any luck, that was my last shopping and water point trip into Nantwich. And I bet you're all hoping it was my last water point and shopping trip into Nantwich as well. Show us some canals, you're probably saying. Well, I don't blame you. And uh, hopefully, by next week this time, I'll be on the Llangotten Canal, um, filming, filming waters new, as it were. So uh, that's something for us all to look forward to, I guess. Number two. I do wish I'd known 
a lot more about boats and especially the electrical systems. Now don't get me wrong, I absolutely love my boat, I think it's fantastic, but the electrical system on board really isn't kind of suitable for a liverboard. Um, for a start, it only has uh, three leisure batteries, which personally I don't think is enough. Um, and so when the current batteries are dead and need to be replaced, I'm going to upgrade to get four. Also, the boat didn't have any solar power, no solar, solar panels at all. Um, and, and no battery monitor as such either. Uh, and this is also something that I'm going to be looking at in the next couple of weeks and hopefully within about a month I should have uh, solar power installed which will be a great bonus. Um, finally the inverter. Um, now the inverter I've got says it's a sine wave inverter however it is not a pure sine wave inverter. Now I do recommend that if you are going to buy a boat that you thoroughly research the electrical requirements that you have uh, and whether the, um, the inverter that is on board is suitable of making those needs. Whilst it's a really great thing that we can now use the waterways freely again, um, I can't stress enough how important it is to use the waterways safely. So please I would ask you that if you are using locks, if you are using lift bridges, anything else that other people think other people might touch, I think it's really important that you either wash your hands before and after you use the locks or you keep a bucket with disinfectant on, on, your, on your deck so that you can wash your hands rather than going inside to do so. Um, or keep some disinfectant spray, wear some gloves, disinfect your, your gloves as well, you know. It's, I, I was uh, filming at Hat Green Locks yesterday. I think in the hour that I was there, five boats went through. And of those five boats, only one person I saw was either washing their hands or wearing protective gloves and disinfecting those gloves. Now, you know, it really isn't... It's, it's not too much to ask, I don't think, so please I want everyone to be able to use the waterways safely. Not just for my own sake, but for everyone else's sake as well. Now, one of my vlogs wouldn't be one of my vlogs unless I found something to whinge about. And I'll tell you something that really gets on my pip. It's people who go past moored boats too fast. And it's not just me, I've spoken to loads of other boaters and it gets on their nerves too. You see signs in windows asking people to slow down, you know. I mean, a guy went past me at my mooring two days ago. He was going so quickly, it knocked the Wi-Fi unit off my windowsill. Why? You don't need to do that. I mean, I was on the Peak Forest Canal last summer and a guy went past so fast it actually rips the roaring pins out of the towpath. What's that about? Being on the canals is about going slowly, isn't it? You know, it's about a relaxing pace of life. You don't need to speed down the canal and rip people's mooring pins out. Be respectful. <laughs> Just enjoy the slow pace. Look at it, it's brilliant. Anyway, that's me whinge over for today. Actually, that's not my whinge over for today because it got me thinking. I mean, when people go past you so fast like that, or when people irritate you on the canals, wouldn't it be brilliant to have torpedo tubes installed on the front of your boat and you could just press a button and blast them out of the canal? That would be fabulous, wouldn't it? <laughs> Whilst on the subject of weaponising narrowboats, wouldn't it be brilliant to do like a proper Robot Wars type event with, but with narrowboats? You could do it in Gas Street Basin in Birmingham or somewhere like that, you know? And you could have like armour-plated boats or heavily weaponised boats or boats that go really fast or whatever. It would be such a brilliant event, wouldn't it? I think it would be great. I'm not putting my boat in for it, but you know, I'm sure it would be really good. People would love to see boats sinking like that. <laughs> I 
haven't been on the wacky backy or anything, sometimes my mind just goes off on bizarre tangents like that. And finally, inner number one is freedom. Now, I hadn't really anticipated a sense of freedom, being able to do what you want, when you want, well, within reason, I suppose, as long as it's legal. Um, you know, if you're more somewhere where you don't like, or someone's a bit noisy or whatever, then you can just move on. Um, yeah, it's just fantastic to be able to have that sense of freedom and just, oh, you know, next month I'll go on that canal or it's it's just wow it's fantastic it's amazing um, uh, okay I admit there have been some restrictions over the last six months uh, the winter closures for instance uh, the landslides um, and then the lockdown so I haven't really moved as much as I would have liked to have done in that time but you know by and large I think uh, I still feel pretty free pretty free to do more or less what I want to when I want to and that is probably the biggest bonus of all. Now if anyone can enlighten me as to why the geese are behaving like this I would love to know. Is he allowed to nick the water out of the canal? You know, being a continuous cruiser is pretty damn fine, even in the winter, despite the hardships. But in the summer, sitting here with a gin and tonic, what could be better? Cheers. See you next time. <laughs>